Hi. It's just finished raining cats and dogs. And actually already uh, one and a half hours ago, I was supposed to have the masseuse come here to have, for me to have a massage. But she hasn't come, but uh, according to the housekeeper, she is on her way. Luckily now the rain has just stopped, but it was so strong. One thing about this house, when the rain is very, very strong, as long as it doesn't have wind or it's not windy, then it's okay. But the moment it's windy, then it can splash or some of the water against the glass windows there and you can feel the, the, the spray a little bit from that rain when you sit downstairs at the dining table. And that's the price of having a, an open air, open air, how to say, an open house, traditional Balinese house <laughs> in Jakarta. So anyway, uh, what I am uh, doing now is a new, fresh of vlog that I can uh, have any kind of content, whether it's just a chat about a subject or some demonstrative things or something to show to you. So it's a uh, free range, all right? Let me start with this. Quite a few people already requested me to talk about my life in Italy. Wow, that's a loaded, loaded task to do. Why? Because there are so many things to share. There are so many things to tell. There are different kinds of uh, subjects that I can start with. So I need more specification, but already subjects like romance or like love or like Italian men or my life in general in Italy. Oof, that's so, so interesting to start on any of them. I'm pumped up, but it's just I don't know how to start and where to start and which one to start with. That's all that I'm, 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 I'm in dilemma, you know, about where, 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 what shall I start? Hmm. What shall I do? Let's just talk about food first, okay? Because I'm not biased, but to me, some of the best food foods in the world is Italian, French, Japanese, Chinese, Thai, one of my favorite Thai food, Indonesian, if you like cooked food a lot, but very with very strong flavor. Of course, I love my Indonesian food. It's really delicious no matter how long I have left this country. Indonesian food is a natural for me. I can eat almost anything of all their dishes, their dishes. I am Indonesian. And uh, Mexican, I love also. Not that I look for it, but I can eat it. And I think that's about all for me. And English breakfast and American food, like club sandwich, uh, what else? Yeah, what else American food that I like? I think that's all. Oh, hamburgers, of course. For example, spaghetti can be cooked as simple as possible, not with meat sauce like all of us outside of Italy know. And by the way, I do make spaghetti with um, 
minced meat, as the English would say or the British would say, but uh, with ground beef, as the Americans would call. Yes, I do make that, yes. Before coming to live in Italy, before knowing my late husband, I, I used to make that. But I r rarely make that in Italy because it's not the norm uh, of a dish that is served in the restaurant. And you don't see the Italian people serve that whenever they invite you for dinner or for a meal at their place. So spaghetti, just take two examples of spaghettis. One is just a real plain tomato sauce. Preferably if you make it your own, you blanch them and you peel the skin off and then you blend it. And that's all. And you just mix with the spaghetti, the boiled spaghetti, al dente if possible. I'm not particularly um, uh, a fan of al dente, just slightly be, bit more of al dente, okay, but al dente, al dente, I'm not that crazy, but my husband, as being an Italian, of course, you know, he would have preferred al dente, but he never complained whenever I cooked. <laughs> so uh, that alone, you just, so you just uh, cook the tomato, you put onion, basil you can even use the dry ones but preferably the fresh ones and that's it and then you eat with uh, the fresh grated parmesan parmesan uh, cheese of course parmesan from italy not the parmesan the green one that you see from australia or from america not that one it's the the fresh one which you can grate yourself but uh, in the supermarket they have already grated ready made that one, for example, that's a simple Italian spaghetti with tomato sauce that Italians would adore. One. Another one, you can make spaghetti alla olio peperoncino, which means spaghetti with oil, garlic, and chilies. You just cut up the big chilies, not the small chilies, because that's too hot for anybody but Indonesians and Thais, I'm sure. But uh, other than that, you take the big size chilies, just slice them very, very tinily or very, very thinly, or you can use the also the flake ones, the dried uh, flake chili chilies. You just fry that with, uh, saute that with uh, garlic and then salt, of course. You can put pepper, but I don't eat pepper. You can give me a lot of chilies, but don't give me any of those peppers, be white or black. I can't either. So uh, that's all. But you know why they serve that simple? Because you're supposed to serve the main course after that. That's why the portion has to be really just small one, not, you know, full like in America or uh, in any other country. With that, you, you know, sip your wine and then after that you are served the main course, which is very, very simple also, either fish or meat and served with a slice of lemon and poor olive oil, that's all. And salad and French fries if you like, or puree if, you, if it's in winter. But that's all the real Italian staple meal, to tell you the truth. Very simple, easily prepared, no fuss, but yet your palate will get used to the simplicity of the flavor without having all these different kinds of, of ingredients that you, you, you just, you know, kill the real taste of that, of that simplicity of flavor that's all so that is one lesson that I learned when I just arrived in Italy second lesson that I learned when I was just new in Italy is that of course mealtime is a celebration is a 
time you spend with your loved ones at the table without hurrying and just take your time. One thing about Milan, even though it's not in the south, the people eat late. But compared to Rome, the people eat even later. But we eat, we eat around 8 o'clock in the evening at home. That's our time. That's our dinner time. And that's it. And if we go to his sister, his older sister, the only sister he has, um, oh, she would, she's a good cook. So, you know, I was always looking forward to going to her place because she was a good cook. She is married to an Italian doctor from Rome. So the food in the south of Italy actually is more tasty the, than the one in Milan for your information, but in Milan the food is good. But as you go further down from Bologna to Florence, and then to Rome, and then to all the way to Sicily, the food becomes even better. Oh, it's so fresh. It's so delicious. It's out of this world if you appreciate the true flavor of an ingredient. I'm talking about Italian food in Italy or um, that's it and then after that you are served with either a tiramisu or um, if it's in winter uh, you you would be served with a meringue you know with chocolate sauce over it with, oh it's delicious one of my favorite meringue with ice cream you know, oh, in it, oh my God, it's not like they put the ice cream in it. The meringue comes like that. It's almost like, uh, you know, oh, the crispiness and the tenderness inside of the content. Oh my God, it's so delicious. And then you just put chocolate sauce over it. That's for winter though. They don't serve in spring and summer even autumn. That's one thing about Italy also I came to learn, and that is every season has its own food to be served. For example, in October, November, that's the time when you, go, you, you order the fungi porcini, you know, or tartufo or truffles. That's the time when you order because that's the time when they, they harvest it. And then in winter, that's the time when you eat also buco with polenta. Polenta is like corn bread, but it's, do you, it's not bread, it's just, you know, like, like puree. Served with meat or fungi porcini. And um, panna cotta, the dessert can be for a, at any time and uh, what else um, yeah um, the pasta can be with cream oh that's good oh the the one that they serve with cream was one of my favorite was yeah it was tagliolini you know the thin 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 noodles but more condensed and then served with cream. Oh, it's so delicious, that one. Mm. That's what I miss now, <laughs> being in Indonesia, being in Jakarta. But then in Jakarta is so hot, it's so humid, so I don't have the appetite to eat those Italian food. Up to now that I'm here three months, I haven't missed any of the Italian food as yet. When I was in Los Angeles and New York, I went to the Italian food. I was invited, but it was so hard for me to, to, to eat with gusto because my palate has been you know, accustomed to the Italian food in Italy. Except for, one, except for one restaurant, I did like the steak and it's uh, French fries that is very original, that they serve very, very thinly. And the restaurant was called Il Naso. It was, I think, on the 6th Avenue, somewhere there, if I'm not mistaken, because we were staying at the Sheraton Hotel, was it? Yeah, because I
because there are two Sheraton hotels in New York, so we stayed on the Sixth Avenue one, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere there. So I had a good Italian food there, not the pasta, but the steak, the way Italians make, which is very, very, um, very, very uh, uh, plain actually, but you taste the meat, you taste the crispiness of the, of the outer side of the meat. So delicious, served with olive oil hmm, and lemon, and that's all. Then, uh, you know, for every, also every celebration, they have different cakes. So if it's uh, Easter, now that we are going into Easter uh, period, uh, they have a different kind of cake, which is called Colombo. Mm, also, it's like sponge cake, but one thing about Italian cakes and breads, they have different texture than any other bread and the cakes outside of it. So for example, the cakes, I miss the cakes because they have that certain, I don't know what it is, you know, it's so mm, delicious when you eat the cake, yet when you look at them, it looks dry. It's not fancy looking. One thing, also another thing about anything Italian in Italy is Everything is, 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 is not elaborately uh, presented. They're so simple, the way they present it, unless you go to the high cuisine kind of the restaurants, of course, those are the, you know, the, 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 the masterpieces, let's say. But I'm talking about the generic restaurants there. You know, it's very simple, but the flavor, the food is so good. And that's what matters to them, not the fancy, fancy stuff for them to, you know, elaborately decorate according uh, around the food. They don't give that. They don't give importance on 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 the on the aesthetic side of the food. Ironically speaking, because in Milan, you know, people give importance to the way you dress, so they give importance to you know the aesthetic, uh, you know, side of how you dress. So that's how ironic it is, or paradox. So that's it, and um, I thank God for my husband who loved, you know, going to the restaurants. I remember, you know, I, I used to have this uh, lady friend who lived in Sweden, in Stockholm, and every time she would call me, we would be somewhere in the restaurant. At the restaurant, she would say, and yet, I mean, she's a bit, a sex, sex, she was a successful businesswoman, and her husband was a successful uh, lawyer of Stockholm, and yet, 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 she was sort of a little bit, you know, you know, reproaching me, you know, like saying, Meta, but you're always at the restaurant. <laughs> Without knowing that my husband loved, loved, loved going to the restaurant. <laughs> loved enjoying meal, enjoying food. That's one thing about uh, what I am grateful about, that in his life, he enjoyed life. Yes, he, there were difficulties, of course, in every one of our lives. You know, there's, you know, things that we were not happy about or problems that we had to solve, uh, that we had to, you know, um, confront with, you know, challenges that we had to overcome. But uh, my point is that he loved life, he loved food, he loved traveling, he loved driving. And I am I'm lucky for that because he would take me everywhere, even in Milan, in those small roads, he would just take me around the city, through the city, and then outside of Milan to Lake Como, to Lake Garda, to Lake Maggiore, to Bellagio, to Switzerland, to Austria, to Germany, to France, to Spain. I mean, by car, we enjoyed it so, so much, and I thank God for that. So, you see, this is part of my life that I'm already starting to share with you. So just to finish before it gets very dark now, um, I forgot to mention that uh, you can order ice cream at any time of the year at the restaurant after meal as a dessert. Uh, also the sorbet is really good, you know, like sorbet of lemon or 
uh, yeah, any fruits, but normally lemon. And um, for summer, uh, you can, uh, if you don't feel like I having ice cream, you know, when you go for a walk, you know, that's very typical Italian lifestyle. You go for a walk and then you would order, you know, ice cream and eat while walking. Uh, you can also order granita. It's called granita. That you can choose like granita of mint, granita of almond, which is my favorite, lemon, uh, watermelon, you know, but the most uh, popular one is lemon. And uh, that also is one of the, you know, traditional food of Italy, in Italy. And uh, yeah, and uh, for winter, you can order, oh, what I meant, it wasn't tagliolini, it was called paglia e fieno. Paglia e fieno, so it's a different kind of pasta. They don't have it in English, they don't have the name in English. It's called paglia e fieno. It's very, very thin, but a little bit squarish, uh, condensed, and you eat with the cream that they serve with, I don't know the ingredients, but you can always, you know, Google by today's standard, you know, you can Google anything now for recipe. So that's so it yeah. before the video has no space again. So, okay, that's my first Italian story from my personal experiences. Hope you enjoyed it and I will continue with more stories. Ciao, arrivederci, bye.